In this problem, we're talking about a triangle. We're talking about the angles of a triangle and their, and their measures. It might help you to draw a picture. Maybe you feel better if there's a, an actual picture of a triangle in front of you. Um, I mean, it really doesn't, I don't think it really matters in this problem. But again, it's all about making you guys feel better. So you have three angles in here. This is just like the board problem that we did where the sum of the angles is equal to a total amount. Like in the board problem that we just did, the sum of the pieces is equal to the total length. Now as I read this, it says the second angle is four degrees less than the first. And then the third angle is twice the first angle. So it, this tells me something about the second angle. It tells me something about the third angle. What does it not tell me anything about? The first angle. And that's where you make your definition for your variable. You'll say something like this. That you want x to equal the measure of angle 1. Don't say that x is angle 1. It's the measure of that first angle. And this is how we do this using geometry, using the proper notation. Well, how then would I represent the measure of angle 2 and the measure of angle 3? What does it say about the measure of angle 2? No. It says the second angle is what? Four degrees less than the first. How do you write four degrees less than the first? Just minus four? I'd have to say x minus 4, right? Because it's whatever the first one is, if you subtract 4 from the first one, so x minus 4, that gives you the second angle. And then for the third angle, it says what? Twice what? Twice the first. How are you representing the first angle? x. So then how do you say twice that? You say 2x, right? There is a total here. Now, I'm giving you the hint because we haven't really talked about this yet. But if you add up all of the angle measures in a triangle that's in a plane, it's 180 degrees. So what I'm saying here is that the measure of the first angle plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. How do I represent the measure of angle 1? This guy is x plus what? x minus 4 plus, plus 2x. So even when these word problems have several unknowns, a lot of times there's, there's just going to be one thing you don't know and then you build everything else from that. You build everything else from that. So what do I do here? Yeah, go ahead and combine like terms, Dennis. What do you have? Yep, yeah, you've got 1 plus 1 plus 2, so that's 4x. Minus 4 equals 180. So with combined like terms, the problem looks smaller. We then do what? Add 4, and the problem is going to look even smaller after that. So that means that 4x equals, I'm giving this one to you for free, that's 184. But then I don't want 4x. I want what? Just x. So I divide both sides by 4. And what does x equal? Ooh. OK, so we should end up with 46. Now, let, let's see if that works out. If I look at my diagram, we're saying that this first angle measure is what? 
That's 46 degrees. What does it say about the measure of angle 2? Four less than that. So what's four less than 46? That's 42 degrees. And what about angle 3? Angle 3 is supposed to be twice the first one. So what's twice that guy? Should be 92 degrees, right? Because it says it's twice the first angle. If the first one's 46, twice that is 92. So if, if it is 46, that's what I would have for my angle measures based off of what the word problem was telling me. But totally check this guy. If I were to add all these guys up, 46, 42, and 92, what does that give me? That's 4 plus 6 is 10. That's 10 plus 8 is 18. So I do get 180. I heard a 62, I think, earlier. If you use 62, you won't get 180 degrees. You'll get something that's a lot larger. So make sure that you state your answer. And for this one, it's nothing more than just listing your information. So the measure of angle 1 is what? 46 degrees. The measure of angle 2 is what? 42 degrees, and finally the measure of angle 3 was 92 degrees.